What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will show you how to transfer or send crypto from Atomic Wallet to Binance. So, if you're wondering how to exactly do so, this is going to be fairly easy. So, first thing that you want to do is you want to get the address of the uh, crypto or your Binance account or your wallet here, no Binance. So, at the top right, you want to go and access your wallet, click on Spot the Wallet. And from here, you want to go and click on the option that says Deposit. Now from here, click on Deposit Crypto and let's go and search a coin. Now for example, we want to use or receive Ethereum here. Let's go and choose a network. Now network is going to be really important because you need to select the same network that you'll be using when you're sending crypto on Atomic Wallet. So for example, we're going to use ETH. Now if you want to use Base, make sure to use Base as well or BSC, make sure to choose BSC. Let's go and choose ETH here for reference. Let's go and click on OK here. And just basically copy the address itself. Now let's go and go back into our uh, Atomic Wallet. Let's go open it up. Go ahead and provide the password if, you're, if this is required for you. Now, by the way, the steps are pretty much the same thing if you're using mobile. But what we need to do is we want to go ahead and choose the crypto here. So if you do see ETH, it's going to use the ETH network by default. This is ET, uh, base 8 ETH here. This ETH uh, use the BSE network. So as you can see, there's tags on it. Just for reference, if you don't know what network they're using. But by default, we have ETH that use the ETH network. Let's go and choose this one. Now from here, we want to choose send. And from here, just enter the domain or address and the amount that you want to send here. So for example, you want to go ahead and maybe send like 0.01. But if you do have enough, you could go ahead and click on send 0.01 ETH. And once you've done that, you just need to wait for a few seconds or a minute and just confirm, uh, basically confirm the transaction itself before you, you are going to wait. But once you've done that, confirm your identity, confirm your transaction, you should be good. Just wait for it. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like or maybe subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.